Hi everyone, Misa here. Welcome to Minimus Tiny House and to your yoga mini. This week's yoga mini is called Lunging Lizard and we're going to begin the sequence by coming into tabletop. So go ahead and come on to our hands and our knees and remember all the little things that maybe we've learned together so far, the spreading of the fingers on the earth, the pointer finger shining forward, the alignment of your joints from wrist to shoulders and knees to hips. Once we get here, let's take a big sweeping motion with our right leg. Lift it up, sweep it around, and step the right foot on the outer edge of the right hand. Now, if we struggle to get into this pose, I recommend using blocks or books or anything that'll help to prop your hands up. Even if you don't struggle to get in this pose, I just find when I use blocks, I get a little bit more of an opening in my hip flexor here. So with or without blocks, whatever you have, whatever you prefer, Let's start some rocking lunges here. So we rock back toward a straight right leg, but it doesn't have to go straight. Listen to your hamstring, listen to your body. We're just rocking forward and back to start to warm up. If you have availability to hinge down, feel free to do so. Now this next time we rock back, the toes usually come up to the sky. We're gonna transition that a little bit and we're gonna let the toes go out to the right. This creates a really deep, nice stretch in my outer hip and into my low back. So just holding here, breathing as long as you like. When the time is right for you, toes come to sky, we rock forward again. From here, we transition the toe position to turn out and we're gonna to start to peel this right hip open coming now into our true lizard lunge. So I'm on the outer edge of my right foot here. I'm feeling a deep stretch in my right groin, being very mindful of the sensations. These are little muscles that don't get stretched too often. You can add a little bit of micro movement here, rocking, wiggling, just feeling around in the hips. And then when the time is right for you, ground down onto that right sole of foot again, toes turn forward. We take that sweeping motion back with the right leg, grounding right knee under right hip. Coming to the other side, sweep left leg forward. Find your alignments. And then we start rocking. Exhale back, inhale forward. Back and forth. Now this next time we rock back, toes lift up to the sky and then we drop them over to the left, feeling that deep sensation in the left hip, breathing into it. Toes turn upright, ground down onto sole of foot. Turn the toes to face out and start peeling that left hip open, coming onto the outer edge of the left foot. Option to add little micro movements here. Good, then the toes turn forward, sole of foot ground, sweep that left leg back to join right, and rock yourself back into child's pose. Let's stay here together for three breaths. Come into any variation of the posture that serves you best. As your three breaths come to completion, bring yourself back into an upright seat. Thank you so much as always for practicing with me today. It's such a pleasure to do these little yoga minis with you. Uh, please feel free to share them. Please feel free to like them. Please feel free to make comments on what you'd like to see in the upcoming weeks. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your peace. Namaste and peace to all beings.